So this is Chad Cannon with Sensor Sports. Got some updates for you guys. We like to try and get you, you know, as many updates as we can about our upcoming events, what we've got going on in our lives. You know, it's crazy sometimes, uh, you know, on an entrepreneurial journey of running your own dojo and also um, managing several different brands. So I wanted to talk to Carmichael Simon a little bit about, you know, his experience, you know, this whole last year and even the first couple of months of the year with Sensor Sports and all the projects that he's involved with. So what's up, Carmichael? How are you, what man? Happening? Always a pleasure. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Um, it's been a pretty interesting year in general. I know we've shifted as a, as a facility, you know, just making sure that... We at least get our our um, a foundation right with regards to building out these brands, but you know it's uh, being able to utilize a foundation, then building around it with regards to the experience of what uh, I like to call master, right? Uh, making sure that we develop a system that has all the elements like a STEM based pro a STEM based program, but specifically for martial arts. And that's what uh, hopefully everybody is starting to see from us is all the multiple brands that fortunately I've been able to carry and develop for probably over 20 to 30 years that's now really coming into fruition um, and be able to you know not only share it with you but share it with your your local community here within the region as well as uh, nationally definitely and it's uh, really been a fun process and a learning process for me too because I remember when you uh, presented Master to me last year. It was kind of something that you lightly touched on. Uh, yeah. You know, we built out like a little bit of a web page and, you know, I was still learning about it as well. And, you know, I would say like after our showcase last year is when I, I really start to see everything come together with all of the brands attached with what we do. Um, you know, I think a lot of people associate us just with uh, martial athletes and sure. now a little bit more with center sports. So can you go a little bit more detail into, you know, everything that Master has in terms of all the brands behind it? Yeah, no, absolutely. I think one thing is understanding like a master is not, you know, the ma uh, mastermind. You hear that a lot with regards to business systems. You also hear a master from like, you know, martial arts masters or masters of education or even um you know masters that take their their business into another level and being able to do that with regards to breaking down that acronym of knowing there's math and arts and science technology engineering and reading is an acronym of its own and it's like when when i was going through this journey you never know through your journey of life you know what opportunities come your way you know also like what what kind of experiences we each have i think everybody has the same experiences but everybody has a different perspective of you know how you can utilize that experience and we talk a lot about vision we talk about you know a lot of people have a lot of dreams and, and they they know their forward thinking of you know five to ten years or where they want to be and they also know where they want to be with regards to their metrics you know what's the value for them but being able to use this really call it like a 360 model per se of masters to know are we holistically building each and every one of us as a true master right and to be a master will come down to those you know those six elements right so if you guys recall there was reach reach intermix was um originally a a brand that was utilized to intermix uh, martial arts and dance but it actually expanded out to the backbone of Video collaboration. That was what I was building at Cisco Systems at the time. Is what you all use right now for FaceTime and Skype and GoTo meetings and Zoom, you know, etc. And as well as WebEx. And using using technology to be able to reach out is something that fortunately I was able to contribute. And now we're using it for video based technology with regards to uh, vlogs, video podcasts, and now just purely testimonials, right? And the thing that's nice about it is reach for us now has evolved not just technologically, but really for a um, for us to go out and reach out to the community. You know, be be what we are meant to be as uh, philanthropists and humanitarians, utilizing the functions of martial arts. So that's what reach is, and that's going to deal mostly with your math, uh, being able to understand the business and our business systems that 
we present to um, other schools as well as other academies, non-martial arts related, so we can, you know, provide our services. Um, second is the arts, right? A lot of a lot of you all know me as a, a martial arts competitor, or even as a stuntman, so or a stage performer. So using Shaolin Groove is the art fundamental of taking the film and entertainment and teaching people how to present themselves. You know, I recall, you know, being um, going through the journey, journey and, and being one of the uh, fortunate ones to understand public speaking. And that's one of the things that Grand Mastery shared is, you know, wh what does Junior Taekwondo mean for me personally? And I think that's what everybody needs to do within their system is artistically present that stage show, know how to film it, and, and know how to make themselves entertainers in their own brand. And then we also have the, um, the science, you know, part of it, you know, the science part of it is the kinetic seven, you know, and, um, bless, uh, Grandmaster Jun Ri through his truth, beauty, and love, but he gave us the kinetic seven, you know, the seven qualities of a champion that you'll always hear. That's the first thing I've ever learned, uh, with my first seminar with, uh, Master Charlie Lee. That's what he taught. And uh, 1989 is my summer camp that I, I attended, and he showed us what the seven qualities of champion are, and how you apply that, you know, not only to your form or to your sections, but ultimately to your life and to your business and to the people you're with, and eventually to, uh, you know, to to your family. Um, and then we move on, right? We move on to what you guys see now, which is Sensor Sports, which is our technology is um, as, a, as a technologist, being able to utilize technology in a way that it's not just another uh, customer relationship database or another procurement tool to do financing or another way to push marketing. It's really about the human element and us being the human interface with our athletics to be able to bring sensors based on the analytics and our business intelligence as these you know top end martial artists as well as bringing this into the school systems the martial arts school systems and studios you know so they can share and have a safe environment for these kids to really train in and then you know closing out in the last two brands is engineering you know engineering the body doing martial athletes understanding what a what a curriculum is understanding what choreography means you know being able to do um, high high end martial arts not just one style but multiple styles and then lastly is uh, transcendera which is your reading and writing function of it. It's like, how do you take all these brands and, and really bring yourself to light and open up your own company? How do you create profiles of yourself in social media? How do you develop what the right ratings are of, of really what you feel the, the best athlete you can be as a master, as well as share that out uh, through other organizations and other ways to say, you know, this is a governance body. This is how we commission you know what we do for master with all of our brands and really highlight uh, that martial arts is not just within our 20,000 schools or the 2,000 professional school owners is martial arts is a life it's a lifestyle and there's a lot more people out there that use martial arts as their way of life and that's how we're presenting master yeah, and <laughs> that's so much. I love like, it all, you know. Yeah. And I know it's a lot to take in. Um, and it was, it was for me at the beginning. But as I've adopted it within our facility, you know, slowly over all of last year, and, and now implementing more aspects into it in terms of this year. You know, we got our Kinetic Seven Journal that dropped, which is really a awesome life skills piece mm -hmm. um and then now we're going out more into the community with the reach program so i feel like it's bringing a lot more energy um, to our dojo and then also you know helping our students realize there are more pieces to the martial arts than just you know the kicking and the punching or even the competitive side and for me you know i felt like when we first opened the facility that you know i had to build like a competition team that's that's what I wanted to, to give back, you know, have the big competition team. But, you know, after a while and even learning from you, Carmichael, um, with these different programs, there's a lot more that we can give back than just pushing, you know, great competitors to, um, you know, the market and competition. We can also build great martial athletes with, you know, growth mindsets. 
So, um, you know, thank you, Carmichael, yeah, for no, you know, stepping in, going a little bit more into detail about uh, what we have going on. Mm -hmm.